the fable goes that in the Soviet Union, they didn't feed the shoe workers, so they stole their shoes and sold them on the black market to buy food. The commissar of the supplies decided that he could stop this by building one factory in Leningrad to make left shoes and one factory in Vladivostok to produce right shoes. This all went well and it increased production, but it didn't meet the quota that the Communist Party had set him. So he, he ordered them both to do whatever they can to produce output. So the factory in Leningrad measured their output by weighing the shoes. So they decided to produce heavy military boots in the larger size to increase the weight of the shoes they produced. Meanwhile, in Vladivostok, they had a shortage of leather. So they decided to produce children's shoes because they'd produce the greatest number of shoes. So when the shops received the shoes, they received large men's military left boots and small children's right shoes. A microservices architecture is similar. Each team creates its own metrics, latency, throughput, uptime. They optimize internally, often brilliantly. When their outputs meet at the integration boundary, API contracts, data schemas, auth flows, the shoes don't fit together. Don't optimize for shoes produced. Optimized for wearable pairs. Optimized for the user journey, not for your services dashboard.